Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new program. Today we have the famous actor Brad Potter. Hello, everyone. I am so happy to be here. Hello, Frank. How are you? I'm great. Happy to have you here with us today. This year was one of your best years, wasn't it? Absolutely. I had one of the best years in my life. I can't complain. Tell us about your last movie, please. How did you react when they called you for the movie? Well, first, I had to audition at a casting. It wasn't easy, but I finally got the job. All right, but how do you know about this movie? Who told you about it? My manager. He told me there was a great opportunity to be the main character in this movie. And I am a fan of superheroes, so I love the idea. That's why I decided to go to this casting. You said you liked superheroes. Where does this love for superheroes come from? Since I was a kid, I loved Spider-Man, Superman, all of them. I was a huge fan. I used to have a lot of toys with their faces. <laughs> my bed and my room was decorated with superheroes. And when Sam, my manager, told me there was a chance to be Captain English, I was so happy. Captain English, without any doubt, that is your most famous character. Am I right? Actually, you're right. I acted in many movies, but this one was the most important for me. Excellent. Now, let's talk about yourself. As an actor, what productions did you act in before? I was in Rhino Man before. It was also a superhero, but not a famous one. I didn't like it much. I had the chance to participate in some series too, here in Hollywood and also in Europe. Five years ago, I acted in a famous movie. I played the role of a man with a terminal illness. It was not the best movie, but I liked it much. I could work with many famous actors and actresses. Very good. I want to know something. Did you attend a conservatory? You want to know if I studied or not in an institute? Um, well, yeah. I studied acting and art in one of the most famous universities in my country. I loved it. Oh, that's great. So, do you have any formal dance training? Sure, I also took dancing lessons there at the university. It was very difficult, but I made it. I mean, I am not the best dancer, but I can dance anything. I am a professional. That's what I wanted to hear. And why did you want to become an actor? It is a funny story. When I was studying at the school, I hated acting. Seriously. Every time there was a contest, I refused to participate in it. I didn't want to act. I can't believe it. And how's that possible? How did you become an actor then? Well, I was very shy when I was in the school. I didn't used to talk to anyone. 
Never. I just stayed in the classroom when I was on my break. Anyway, my mother never liked it. So one day, she just decided I had to go to one of these summer workshops. I wanted to go to computing, but she refused. So I had to go to the acting class. I felt so nervous the first time I went there. But when I had to act, I did it very well. Or that's what the teacher told me. <laughs> Now I guess maybe he lied to me. <laughs> anyway, I liked it. That was my first experience acting, and I loved it. So I decided I was going to learn everything about acting. And now, here I am. That's a nice story. <laughs> I understand that you speak seven languages. Yes, that's true. I can speak French, English, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, German, and Thai. Wow, that's impressive. How did you manage to learn so many languages? I can't believe it. Well, that was all thanks to the acting thing. I participated in many plays and movies. So, we usually traveled to different countries to show the movie or to play in a theater. I met a lot of people during these experiences, and thanks to that, I can now speak many languages. You are impressive. Can you describe a particularly difficult scene and how you prepared for it? Well, there are many scenes which were difficult to perform, but there is one I remember. I had to act in the middle of the snow in South America. Yeah, we traveled there for that scene. It was very difficult because I had to train a lot before being able to work in those conditions. We had a special training. We went to the gym, a strict diet. I had to work hard to get it. Wow, I suppose so. So, being an actor is not only about fame and money, isn't it? No, of course not. You have to work hard, dance, speak many languages, train hard. It's not easy to be an actor, you know, but it is an amazing experience, I must say. I guess so. You got married last year. Your wedding party was amazing or not? I'm asking this because you didn't let journalists to assist to your wedding party. Why? That's true. You know I don't like talking about my private life. I prefer not to talk about it. I see. But you had it anyway. I mean, your wedding party. How was it? Well, I won't share any details, but it was a small party, just family and friends. But you married your best friend's girlfriend. How did you feel about it? I want to know. Seriously, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm fine. I mean, She cheated on your best friend with you, and then you married her. Why? If you keep asking that, I will have to leave this place. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on. 
People love gossip, or not? You want to know the story, right? I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.